Hi guys, had to go live again. So today's video is very important. Stop procrastinating. How many of you find yourself procrastinating on the things that will create the freedom that you desire in your life, whether that's time freedom or financial freedom? If you struggle with procrastination, you are on the right video because right now I'm gonna teach you a couple of things that will help you to prioritize. It will help you to stop the procrastination. It will help you get your followers, your network, duplicating what you're doing, okay? Because the speed of the leader is the speed of the pack. You are the pace car. Drop a one in the comments below. If you're live with me, type replay if you're watching the replay. And then if you share it, please type shared because I think this is very important for your network to hear because the truth is procrastination starts within your mind for all kinds of reasons. Uh, at the heart of it is fear, right? Fear about what's going to happen, fear about what step to take, fear about how will I look or how will I be perceived, fear about gossip, drama, negativity, right? Okay, thanks for clicking the share button, Laura. Um, this is a big hurdle for a lot of people who are entrepreneurs. Now, if you're an entrepreneur, there's something that you also need to identify that is part of procrastination, and that is gossip, drama, and negativity. And yesterday, I had some people talking about me behind my back. Why? I don't know. Probably a little bit of procrastination because they were scared scared to take action or they're meant to, right? So I'm going to have you think about where do I give away my personal power? Because the truth is procrastination, gossip, drama, and negativity are you giving up your personal power. When you give up your personal power, you actually subtract from your bank account because what you're doing is distracting from where you're meant to make impact. Do you guys see this? Are you connecting the dots? I want you to comment below as you have these aha moments from what I'm sharing with you today. Okay, think about this. When you gossip or get into drama or negativity, that is a form of procrastination. At the heart of all procrastination, I believe, is fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the next step. Fear of how will I be perceived or look to other people, right? So if you partake in gossip, drama, or negativity, you're afraid of something. And I want you to identify what it is that you're scared of. Okay? Now, people will talk about you behind your back. The more success you create, the more financial freedom that you have, there will be people who talk about you behind your back. And I don't care if you are as honorable and respectable as Mother Teresa or Gandhi was, there will still be people who talk about you behind your back and try and tear you down. Because as you shine brighter, it reflects on others where they lack the personal power. Okay? Does this help you? You guys getting it? Get, are you picking up what I'm laying down? I want you to hashtag that. I got it. Hashtag I got it. Okay? Click the share button. This is an important lesson for you all. Um, basically, the potential. This is important. The potential that exists within us is limitless and largely untapped. When you think of limits, you create them. Hashtag no limits. Type that in the comments. Okay? The potential that exists within us is limitless and largely untapped. When you think of limits, you create them. All right? You subscribe to the limits when other people try and put you in a box. You allow that. Nobody makes you feel a certain way. Okay? Yesterday, I had two different situations with two different people who said that. People made them feel a certain way. I said, hello, take back your personal power. Nobody makes you feel any certain way. You choose how you feel. You choose if your feelings are hurt. You choose if you are happy. You choose, right? You will always choose. You will always have the power of choice. Here in the United States, we are so blessed that people tend to forget how blessed they are. And they go into the, it's not fair mentality. Okay, think about this. Take back your personal power. You have the power to choose how you feel, how you react, how you speak. If you hold a grudge 
or not. Am I right? If you're picking up what I'm laying down, I want you to drop a comment. What is this bringing up for you? Because the truth is, a lot of people give up their personal power and that's why they stay stuck. That's why they procrastinate, because they're blaming other people. They're victim-minded, right? You are not what happens to you. You are what you create. So I want you to adopt this new mentality of that I'm going to use more than 10% of my true potential. Most Americans, I'm sorry, but we're living an apathetic and pathetic life because we're not tapping into our fullest potential. Mm -hmm. We have all of our basic needs met. So stop getting drowned, stop drowning in the drama, the gossip, and the negativity because that will c cause you to never live up to your potential when you allow yourself to operate from that place. Because what you're doing then is looking for the validation outside of yourself rather than finding it within. You guys, you have that power within you. And you don't need validation from other people to know that you are right, to know that you are walking in your truth, to know that you've returned to love. Does this make sense? If you're loving it, I want you to hashtag that. Love it. Because I'm telling you, live the life you love by choice, okay? It is not up to somebody else to create your happiness. It is not up to somebody else to create your freedom. You already have been given the gift of freedom living in a developed country and holding a small computer in your hand, access to anything. Am I correct about that? I mean, seriously, you guys, get the potential that you hold here. You hold a tiny computer in your hand that literally will give you access to any information that you need to get yourself to the mindset so you can tap into your fullest potential. So stop giving up your personal power, stop the procrastination, and instead tap into what you know is true and use social media for good and find a way to uh, figure out where you're lacking in your mindset and skill set that's going to take you to the next level. This is how we level up, okay? Level up. Type that in all com er, caps down below. Level up. Because if you're going to live a life of greatness and impact, you've got to hold yourself to a higher standard. And getting uh, drowning in the mud, I call it, when you're talking about other people behind their back, guess what? That will hold you back from success. So, if you're watching this and you were the one talking about me yesterday, let me invite you to step into your greatness. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Don't worry about what your neighbor's doing. Don't worry about what your upline or your sideline is doing. It doesn't matter. What matters is what you do, okay? What matters is the way you think. What matters is what you choose to think about something and take back your personal power. That's how you do it, is it comes from within you. It is not up to what somebody else is doing or not doing or saying or not saying, okay? It's you, all you, all the time, every day. You got me? All right. And I'll have you know, when people talk about me, I just expect it. I'm like water off a duck's back. I will bless you and I will release you. And I don't hold any grudges. I don't take things personally, but I will do a live stream and remind you, I'll call you out right here, that if you are wasting your time talking about what I'm doing or watching what I'm doing, guess what? You're burning your potential because you're wasting your time. Rather than asking yourself, what can I do better? And how can I show up in the world? Instead, you're worrying about somebody else. That's never going to create the freedom that you desire. Ever, ever, ever. Okay? So, jealousy, gossip, drama, and commiserating are a form of procrastination. That is the number one step I'm going to teach you today to stop procrastination is don't drown in the mud. Okay? Get into action. And remember... To maximize your personal power, you need to identify the periods of the day where you have the highest mental and physical energy. And that's when you structure these times to work your business because that's when you're reaching out to people and building a relationship. You with me? All right. If you are watching this replay, tap replay. I know my sister's like, go to your workout on time. I'm sorry. I'm so fired up. Um, I'm already late, <laughs> but at least I'm in the parking lot. So you guys, I love you and I know that you have great potential within you and that's why I had to make this video because there are so many of you who are about ready to drown in the mud today and it's not meant for you. I'm calling you out. Do not drown in the mud today. Get into action. Take back your personal power and 
stay true to what you know is your true north, and that is love, and that is sharing the light in the world, okay? I'm sending you love. Drop a heart in the comments and click the share button. Love you guys. Bye-bye.